So today I have to head out to the mall and I would like you to come along with me because there's something that I need to talk to you about. How to turn your music into crypto, but more importantly, how to earn Ethereum, which is the second largest cryptocurrency ranked just under Bitcoin. Let's get out of here. I will show you a little bit of my country while we're at it. Let's go. <laughs> I have no clue why she sleeps like this. To understand this, you have to understand a little bit about blockchain and cryptocurrency. And then it gets into something called an NFT. But Sean, what is an NFT? You but Sean, what is an NFT, you ask? <laughs> That's actually a good question. Now, an NFT is what you call a non-fungible token. NFTs are a type of cryptocurrency. So right now I'm waiting on a taxi. I might have to wait a while, but... This is Trinity Mall. So this whole NFT thing is maybe confusing, but it's very new on the scene and it's going to take the music industry by storm. With all the information that I'm about to give you in this video, I would suggest that you stick around to the very end so you don't miss anything when it comes to this big NFT puzzle. So money is fungible. If you have a $10 note and you want to break it up into smaller change, you will accept two $5 notes from me in exchange for your $10. It is fungible. It is able to be replaced with something else of the same value. Now many record companies or music companies would try to contractually take you out or have a clause in their contract that will allow them to control your NFTs in the future. So I'm trying to record this and I had to leave the mall because the weather is turning to crap so I'm heading home now. A one of a kind digital rendition of the Nyan Cat meme from 2011 sold for about $590,000 in an online auction. What? Whoa. Non fungible is irreplaceable, one of a kind, unique. So, in terms of an NFT, NFTs are supposed to be an original work. So, if you look at the Mona Lisa, for instance, the Mona Lisa original painting sells for millions of dollars. You can go and snap a picture of the Mona Lisa and have it on your phone and you could look at it and admire it at any point in time that you want, but you do not own it. It's not yours. It's a picture of somebody else's asset, let's say. But when you think about non-fungible in terms of this cat meme is that this is a, a rendition of the original. So the original spread, it became popular, and now this was the first NFT that came out representing that popular character. It was timestamped and authenticated as to be the original one, and it is true. Now, the person that created it what stops him from making another one? Well, then it would not be the same because it was already authenticated and time-stamped. So if he makes another one and tries to sell it as the original, it will have lesser value because it is not the original. It is now a copy of the original, if you understand what I'm trying to say. There can only be one original. Even if there are 100 originals in circulation, they will all be encoded as 1 of 100, 2 of 100, 3 of 100, and so on. It will be also known on the blockchain how many originals they are, how much they sold for, and who owns them. Anything after that is a copy. Even if it's the same file, the same person uploads the file, it will not have the same value. Since we're on the topic of things that will change the music business forever, you must take some time to go register on the Creative Passport. This platform is going to revolutionize the way the music platforms and services gain information about you, the creative. 
everything from your bios, pics, contact info, and projects you are working on will be a few clicks away for any business that is in need of you. Think of all the opportunities you have already missed because of an outdated email or phone number on a random website. This way, all your information will be updated and distributed everywhere. Go register now. This is your digital identity. Link is in the description. Royalties. This is where it gets very interesting for any creator. Every time you create an NFT, there's a clause within this contract, which is, is written code that you don't really see unless you look at the description. In fact, no, it's, it's written in the code of the item. There is a royalty. So every time that NFT changes hands, the creator is entitled a royalty. Why would anyone want to buy an NFT? When you have an NFT, you have the ability to resell or collect. So there are some people that will look at an NFT as an investment in their future. They buy it, they hold on to it for a number of years, and then they resell it for a profit investment. There are others who would buy an NFT for bragging rights only. In other words, they are your true fan, and they have your first album artwork that they got on sale at some point in time in the past for $10. Five years later, in a dinner party, while they sip their glass of wine, they have seen online that that thing that they bought for $10 a number of years before is now worth a quarter of a million dollars. And they chuckle to themselves. Ha ha ha. Those are the people that will buy an NFT. Choose from many NFT marketplaces, a fancy word for stores, but they all work differently. OpenSea, one of the more popular ones. Join for free. Upfront minting costs, unknown cost for minting NFTs. Prices fluctuate according to the item and Ethereum's market value. Rarible, another very popular one. Join for free. Upfront minting cost, unknown cost for minting, NFT prices fluctuate according to the item and Ethereum's market value, many transaction fees. So I went with Mintable. It's free. So let's get into Mintable. Stop. You will need one of these first. Now before you do anything when it comes to crypto, you will need a wallet. You will need a place to store your cryptocurrency, which in this case will be Ethereum, because everything that we are speaking about is Ethereum based. Smash that like button. I use MetaMask, a crypto wallet and gateway to blockchain apps. In all my research, MetaMask seemed to be the most trustworthy out of all the wallets. And a lot of people spoke about their customer service. And that's why a lot of people use them. First, you'll have to come on to Mintable, and then you'll connect your wallet. Connecting MetaMask to Mintable. Connect with MetaMask. Connecting. So at this point, you are now on your Mintable web page. Once you come here, you will go to mint an item. Click on mint an item. Is the item live on the blockchain or is it a new item you want to make? Create new item. Create new item, no transaction fee, completely free. Advanced is if you have Ethereum in your wallet and you want to actually use that to create this NFT for real, or the easy way is just a listing. It is not created until the person buys the NFT. So create listing. I will say laugh out loud, listing title, laugh out loud, listing subtitle, laugh out loud. Now you will upload your private file. You will add an image. You can describe this is me. LOL. Transfer copyright when purchased. 
price. Is it fixed auction? Auction with buy it now. Let's say fixed price Ethereum one. So that is approximately two thousand dollars. List this item. Congratulations, your music just went crypto. If you use any other platform or marketplace, sorry, if you use any other marketplace, you are going to need to buy crypto and have crypto in your wallet, Ethereum, before you ever place even one listing. You are going to have to pay all the gas fees. Gas fees are service fees. Every time something is done on the blockchain, it is privately owned computers that do the work. These computers or blocks, networks, need to be paid. The individuals need to be paid. They work for basically Ethereum. Gasless gives you the opportunity to list an item without paying for it. The only time Ethereum passes or changes hands is when somebody buys your listing. They pay the gas fee. They pay the service. So it doesn't cost you anything to list it. This whole NFT thing through Mintable gives you the opportunity to list or place items that you have on the blockchain. For instance, your merch, your digital merch, even unreleased songs, pictures of the band, pictures of you, pictures of anything that you find interesting that could make a good NFT. It gives, once it gives the customer value, I have one song listed. The album artwork for that song is rare because it was never released to the public. And I also have a video of myself talking about the song and the reason that the artwork was rejected. So I am deleting my original file. Once I delete that original file, that artwork is one of a kind. No one will have it, including myself. NFTs are going to be the future of merch when the dust settles. Right now is a mad rush. Everybody wants to get a piece of the pie. All the greed of humanity is showing right now. But at some point, it is going to settle and it's going to be a beautiful thing for merch. Even if someone has an item of yours that's super rare and they don't want to sell it ever, but once there's a demand for that item, once it reaches a certain threshold in terms of price, because there is a demand for it, even the most diehard fan might not be able to resist selling because that one sale might pay their mortgage for their house, a family vacation, who knows? So get involved in this NFT thing. It's very interesting. Just don't think that is going to make you rich overnight. This is for the long haul. This is for the rest of your life. This is your legacy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Come see me soon.